afternoon Matanistas. I am at the Spread Eagle pub in Cholton Camhardy, a suburb of Manchester, drinking Joseph Holt's beer and Manchester Ale. And um, I'm sorry that I couldn't bring you the game from West Ham. I had to decline a ticket because I thought I was working. Then when work got cancelled, I couldn't get a ticket anymore. But City today, 2-0 down at half-time. It looked terrible, some horrible, horrible defensive errors. Then Guardiola made the necessary tactical changes. We came back strongly and we managed to draw the match 2-2. At the end of the day, I'll take that because it's definitely in our own hands, although I'm not sure Liverpool were going to get these massive wins to win on goal difference had we actually lost that game. But it does spice up the last game of the season at home to Aston Villa. And we could have won this today. Riyad Mahrez again missing in a vital situation. He does this too often at home to Real Madrid. He could have scored, he could have passed the ball to Foden. Then away, sorry, at home to Liverpool, he messed up as well. He could have sealed the deal in the last minute. I suppose it spices it up for next week because everything to play for. We'll see how Liverpool do at uh, at Southampton on Tuesday, I think it is. Yeah, Tuesday. Uh, if they don't win that, I think it's all done and dusted. But uh, City, it emphasises what I've been saying for years and years and years, is that they need a new left-back. They most definitely do. No criticism on Sinchenko. He was bought as a left-back and he's been converted there. But some of the defending, again, was absolutely horrible today. Uh, I don't know why Ake wasn't playing, apparently Guardiola likes a right foot and a left footer at the back and both uh, Laporte and Ake are left footers apparently. Uh, Fernandinho nearly gave a goal away at the end, again he's not a defender. OK we can whinge about injuries but they are what they are, it's part of a league season. Anyway, could have been a lot worse at half time so I'll take the draw although I think if Mares had scored, that would have sealed the deal and we would more or less be home and dry. But I will make the vlog next Sunday more interesting. I look forward to you to joining me then. Uh, it should be an exciting occasion, a grand occasion, hopefully culminating in the presentation of the Premier League trophy at the Etihad Stadium. So uh, join me for that. I'm going to love you and leave you. Watch the rest of the day's football. And until then, don't forget... You can't beat a bit of mutton.